Hello everyone, this is Mr. Nasser and in our lesson today we'll study 3B free time. Let's look at exercise number one here, vocabulary free time activities number one. Let's read these words and phrases together and tick the one you know. Stay in, go out a lot, eat out, go for a drink, go to the cinema, go to concerts, go shopping, phone friends, phone my family, visit friends, visit my family, have coffee with friends, do a lot of sports, watch a lot of TV, watch a lot of DVDs. Okay, so let's go to vocabulary 3.2, page 133 and do the exercise. Here it is. Okay, free time activities. Match the phrases with these pictures. After you finish, check with this uh, answer. This is the answer key here. If there is any word you don't understand, you can use the dictionary. Okay, but before we move, let's um, explain something here. Okay, you see this, we have a lot and a lot of, okay? Let's explain how do we use them. So here we say a lot, okay? So a lot, for example, um, you see here, go out a lot. A lot. Okay, eat out a lot and go to the cinema a lot. Okay, so and we have a lot of. If I say, for example, I eat a lot, okay? Eat a lot here, let's put it here. Or drink a lot. Okay, so when I say a lot of, we need to, to write after, after it a lot of what? For example, if I say eat a lot. So in general, I eat a lot every day. Okay, but when I say I eat a lot of, I need to write a noun. Eat what? So we say here, for example, um, bread. Okay, so... I eat a lot of bread, okay, drink a lot, a lot of what, water, orange juice, okay, so for example, let's see here, watch a lot of films. Cartoons, uh, action films. Let's see here, for example, action. Action films. So, this is the difference here. When I say here, let's put it a lot. So, we write here the verb, okay, plus a lot. That's it. So the verb plus a lot. And here we say verb 
plus a lot a lot of plus noun so here a lot But here we write again a lot then after a lot we say of plus now of red of water of action films so verb plus a lot verb plus a lot of plus noun okay and here let's look at the tips here do you want to go for a drink not do you want to drink something and usually hear the word of drink a drink means mostly alcohol so be careful with that if someone say for example would you like to go for a drink or do you drink that means they mean alcohol and we can say do sport or play sport so sport it takes do or play no problem I play sport I do sport at the weekend we can say a lot of plus noun or lots of plus noun okay a lot of and lots of the same I uh, I do a lot of sport or I do lots of sport I watch lots of DVDs and here cinema and movies so cinema uh, uh, go to the cinema this is UK and movies USA American the same meaning but cinema and movies Okay, let's read them together. Stay in. Stay in. Don't say stay in. In the street, people say stay in. In. Stay in. Stay in. Okay, one word together. And here, go out. Go out. Go out. Not go out. No. Go out a lot. Go out. Eat out. Eat out. Eat out eat out go for a drink go for a drink don't say drink drink no J -j. go for a drink drink and go to the cinema go to the cinema go to concerts go to concerts go shopping go shopping phone friends phone friends phone my family phone my family visit friends visit friends visit my family visit my family have coffee with friends have coffee with friends do sport do a lot of sport do a lot of sport watch tv watch a lot of TV watch DVDs watch a lot of DVDs here DVDs means uh, films because in the past uh, films are on DVD uh, fil films were on DVD so um, they say DVDs films Okay, so now what we do in exercise B here, we'll compare what are your five favorite things to do on Saturdays. For example, on Saturday, I go out, I, um, I go to the cinema, I go shopping, I, I have coffee with friends, and I watch a lot of DVDs. So these are five things I like to do. 
what about you okay okay let's look here at this photo how many people are here uh, one two three four five six and seven okay where are they yes they are in, um, in the office and they have a small party together so here we have Freddy and Jeanette okay do you think um, are they friends or boyfriend and girlfriend or just work together okay so let's look at this exercise here okay so we'll listen to Freddie and Janet's conversation okay are these sentences true or false okay so number one Freddie and Janet are good friends false they are not good friends they work in the same office they watch a lot of DVDs Freddie's got tickets for a concert on Saturday Freddie and Janet are are single okay so listen and write true or false track 53 <laughs> hello Jeanette oh hello uh Freddy Freddy Roberts you don't work in this office do you no I work in the King Street office oh uh yes of course hmm. <laughs> good party isn't it yes very nice uh Jeanette do you go out after work? On Fridays, maybe? No, I don't. Sorry. I'm always very tired, so I just go home. <laughs> right. What do you do in the evenings? I have dinner and watch TV. Do you go to the cinema? No, I don't. But I watch a lot of DVDs. Yes, me too. What do you do at the weekends? Well, on Saturday morning I go shopping. And I don't go out on Saturday evening. I stay in and watch TV. Right. And on Sunday afternoon, I visit my parents. Oh, OK. Do you go to concerts? Yes, I do. You know, when I have time. Well, um, I've got two tickets for a concert on Sunday evening. Do you want to come with me? Uh, thanks, Freddy, but there's a problem. Well... Three problems, actually. Oh? I'm married, and I've got two children. Oh. Well, no problem. <laughs> oh, look! There's Catherine. Uh, I've got something I want to ask her. Excuse me. Really? <laughs> OK, guys, let's check the answers. Here is the answer. Number two is false, three true, four false, five false. Okay, in exercise B, we'll listen again. Take the things in 1A that Janet does in her free time. For example, go out after work. If she goes out after work, you will tick, no cross. Okay, watch TV in the evening, go to the cinema, watch a lot of DVDs, go shopping on Saturday morning, go out on Saturday evening, visit her parents on Sunday afternoon, go to concerts. Okay, let's listen again. Track 53. <laughs> hello, Jeanette. Oh, hello. Uh... Freddy. Freddy Roberts. You don't work in this office, do you? No, I work in the King Street office. Oh, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> Good party, isn't it? Yes, very nice. Uh, Jeanette, do you go out after work? On Fridays, maybe? No, I don't, sorry. I'm always very tired, so I just go home. <laughs> right. What do you do in the evenings? I have dinner and watch TV. Do you go to the cinema? No, I don't. But I watch a lot of DVDs. Yes, me too. What do you do at the weekends? 
Well, on Saturday morning I go shopping. And I don't go out on Saturday evening. I stay in and watch TV. Right. And on Sunday afternoon, I visit my parents. Oh, OK. Do you go to concerts? Yes, I do. You know, when I have time. Well, um, I've got two tickets for a concert on Sunday evening. Do you want to come with me? Uh, thanks, Freddy, but there's a problem. Well, three problems, actually. Oh? I'm married, and I've got two children. Oh. Well, no problem. <laughs> oh, look! There's Catherine. Uh, I've got something I want to ask her. Excuse me. Really? <laughs> OK, let's check the answers. OK, so the things she does. OK, number two. And five, four and five, seven and eight. Okay, now let's move to exercise number four. Present symbol two, negative, are you, we, uh, we and they. So the sentence, when, when the sentence is uh, positive, for example, it will be like this. We say, I go out on Saturday evening. You work in this office. So the only thing we do here, we just add don't to make negative. I don't go out. I go out, I don't go out. Don't is do not, do not. I don't go out. You work in this office, you don't work in this office. And here in exercise B, write sentence, uh, sentences one and two in the table. So let's write them here. We say we and don't. After that, the infinitive stay in at the weekend. Okay. Number two, they don't watch infinitive. TV in the day. Okay, so the word day here, this one, okay, day means when there is sun. For example, here, um, as we know, the day, one day. is 24 hours okay but when i say in the day in the day means um, from morning okay to evening Okay, this is, we say, in the day or at night. So, one day is 24 hours, okay. In one day, we have a day from um, uh, the morning till the evening, then from the evening till the day, uh, till the morning is night. So, this is in the day. Some people say, um, I don't watch TV in the day, I watch it at night, I, I watch it in the evening. Okay, so day is from the morning to uh, the evening. That means until afternoon finish. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, you can go to page 134, grammar 3.3 and check, uh, you will have the same answer. So here, exercise number five, take the sentences that are true for you. Make the other sentences negative. For example, if I have, I study English, for example, for me, I say no. And I follow my family every day. I go shopping on Saturdays, yes. I watch TV every evening, no. I eat out, uh, with, I eat out with my friends a lot, no. I live near this school, no. I have lunch at 12 every day, yes. I work at the weekends now. So anything, uh, anything is not true for you, you write sentences negative. For example, here, I study English for me, no. I say, I don't study English, okay? So the only thing you do here, because we don't change the verb, the only thing you add don't. For example, here we have, this is the verb. This is the verb. Ah, the same. So what we do, uh, we did here, the only thing we say, I don't. I don't study. So you say don't infinitive. Don't infinitive. Okay. Do the others the same. Anything uh, is not true for you, you write don't and the verb. Okay, now here let's move to present symbol, yes, no question. And short answer are you, we, and they. So here, look at the table, not the order in the question. We say auxiliary subject infinitive so do you eat out a lot do you eat out a lot auxiliary subject infinitive and you complete the answer yes i do we started the question with do you answer with do yes i do do don't no i don't okay so look here we have two questions Okay, so fill in the, the table here with these two questions and fill in the table with do. Let's do this together. So here we say do. Then the subject you. Then go. Then here to concert. Okay, so, and here, yes, we do, no, we don't. Okay, number two, here we say, do they watch TV? A lot okay the answer would be here yes they the same do and no they don't okay so you can go again here you can go to page 134 grammar 3.4 and check you will find the same answer Okay, here help with listening. Weak forms, do you? Weak forms means no stress, okay? Listen to how we usually say, do you? You expect to hear. You think that in the street, you hear people speak in this way. They say, do you? But you usually hear people in the street, they say, dear, dear, and we talked about this before. Here, do you go out after work? Here, do you go out after work? Okay, listen to it. Track 54. Listen to what you expect to hear and what you usually hear. 
Do you? Dear, do you go out after work? Do you go out after work? So you can repeat it many times and practice. So as we said before, people say, dear, do you go out? Do you go out? Or do you go out? Do you go out? Which one you like, you can use, but people don't say do you, okay? Now, here in exercise 7b, listen to these questions, fill in the gaps. You will hear each sentence twice. So you will hear the same sentence again and again twice. Listen and fill in the gaps. Track 55. 1. What do you do in the evenings? What do you do in the evenings? 2. Do you go to the cinema? Do you go to the cinema? 3. What do you do at the weekends? What do you do at the weekends? 4. Do you go to concerts? Do you go to concerts? 5. Okay, let's check the answer together. Here's the answer. Okay, number 1, we say what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? And number 2, do you go? Do you go to the cinema? Do you go to the cinema? Three, what do you do? What do you do at the weekends? What do you do at the weekends? Number four, do you go? Do you go to concerts? Do you go to concerts? Okay, so you can repeat the uh, recording again and again and practice, okay? Now let's move to exercise number eight here. Fill in the gaps with do, don't, or the verb in the uh, the verb form in the book. So here, for example, when you see uh, the verb form in the verb form. So here we have the verbs one, two, three, four, five, and six. Go here, we have it twice. You can use go twice. But here, how many gaps? We have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 gaps, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But the other 10 gaps, you fill in the gaps, uh, the gaps with do or don't. Okay, so do you go out a lot in the week? The answer here will be yes, we do. Okay, now stop the video for a minute, do the exercise, then let's check together. Okay, now if you finished, listen and check. Track 56. 1. Do you go out a lot in the week? Yes, we do. 2. Do you visit your parents at the weekend? Yes, I do. 3. Do you go to concerts at the weekend? No, we don't. 4. Do you go shopping on Saturdays? Yes, I do. 5. Do your parents go out on Saturday evenings? No, they don't. They stay in and watch TV. Okay, so you can see here all the answers. Okay, so now if you have a partner with you, okay, let's delete B's here.
Okay, so here you have all the questions, okay? You can ask your partner if you uh, work together, if you study with someone, okay? Ask your partner and your partner will answer, okay? Okay guys, so let's move to the last exercise here. Okay, so vocabulary and speaking time phrases with on, in, at, add, and every. On, in, at, every. So look here, we have all of these phrases. Saturday, the morning, nine o'clock, week, the afternoon, day, the evening, month, half past three, night, the week, Mondays, Monday morning, the weekend, morning, Sunday afternoon. Okay, so look here, we have these um, popples here. So for example, Saturday, we say on Saturday. M the morning, in the morning. Nine o'clock, at nine o'clock. Week, every week. What about the afternoon? Where do we write the afternoon? Yes, we write in the afternoon, okay? Stop the video, match these phrases to these uh, popples here. After that, we'll go and check together. Okay, we'll check on page 133, vocabulary 3.3. Let's go. And here it is, okay? So, time phrases, we say on, always comes with day, Saturday, Mondays, Monday morning, Sunday afternoon. Uh, the first day is day, the first word is a day, we use on, in, part of the day, morning, the afternoon, the evening, or the week. At, with time, nine o'clock, half past three, we, we have it with night, or the weekend every every week every day every month every night every morning every sunday afternoon okay but here what's the difference let's just uh make it a little bit small okay here we say um let's see it okay the week because in the week how many days in the week we say uh we have Monday, okay, then, sorry, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, okay, so, Here we have, um, okay, five days work and we have two days weekend. Okay, so here people say in the week, in the week. When I say, for example, I go to the gym in the week, that means from Monday to Friday. Okay, but when I say at the weekend, Weekend, this is at the weekend. Okay, so in the week means from Monday to Friday. At the weekend means Saturday and Sunday. Okay, this is number one. After that, if I say here, for example, say um, I, for example, let's say eat out on for example sunday okay can i say on sundays sundays okay 
Yeah, I can say Sunday or Sundays. Why? Because I eat out is a present symbol and this is routine. So you can say Sunday, that mean every Sunday or on Sundays. Okay. Uh, you can say, for example, here, I go running, for example, in the morning or mornings because it's again every morning you go okay so it's not one morning so I eat out on Sunday or Sundays I go uh, running in the morning okay but here you can say for example if this is another sentence you say I go running every uh -huh, morning every what morning okay but can I say every mornings ah every mornings no we don't try it is uh, plural with after every okay after every be careful with that we don't write plural we only write singular after every all every week every day you, you never say every day is or because it's just only one okay and here all of these notes you find them here you can use the singular or plural of days part of days and the weekend to talk about routines I stay in on Monday or Mondays I go out in the evening or evenings I work at the weekend or weekends anything you do a lot okay you uh, write it we write it with singular or plural no problem we don't use a plural with every every week not every weeks we say in the morning afternoon and evening and this is very important and we say at night so morning afternoon evening in then we say at night and be careful we say in okay here we say in the okay always in with the in the morning we don't say in mornings in the morning okay in the morning okay let's go back and here we'll have an exercise to do it okay if we, for example if you are in the class we will do it in two groups a group a and the group b okay we say group a 105 group b 110 but let's do them all together we'll go to 105 now okay then after that 110 105 let's see the exercise okay and this is the exercise here uh, 3b the exercise is 3b so what we do here um look here we say watch TV every evening or in evening of course we'll use every because if we want to use in we should use in the evening not in evening okay so stop the video for a minute do it then we'll check together okay guys so let's check the answers here say so, do sport Saturdays uh-huh of course when I have day so we say on Saturdays go to bed after midnight uh-huh in the week or at the week we say in the week the week you remember you remember we have it from uh, Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday okay and go to concerts in the weekends or at the weekends at eat out every week okay every week mm. okay so here in this exercise in the class of course we will ask each other okay we'll go down here 
after you finish and you will ask two of your uh, friends in the class do you watch tv every evening okay and you will write their answers here okay you can do it if you uh, if you work with a partner okay at home you can ask your partner the questions and write the answers here okay guys so let's uh, move to exercise uh, the other exercise 110 to practice okay 110 and this is the exercise again here so let's do it okay together or stop the video do it then check with me watch tv morning and the say in the morning go shopping every saturday or in saturday we don't say in with saturday we say on so we use every here go for a drink at friday no we have on when i have day we have on okay now go to the cinema at every month at month or every month we say every month uh, work at the weekends or in the weekends at the weekends okay again here you can ask your friend if you have uh, more than uh, a friend or in the class we will see uh, we'll say do you watch tv in the morning do you watch tv in the morning and write the names of people um, who do this okay okay so um that's why it's a good idea to take the course uh, usually um uh, uh, studying uh, on the internet it um, like it's one way studying okay so because you learn everything you learn everything but you cannot ask questions you don't know if you are learning in a good way or a bad way if you learn something in a bad way and you keep doing this again and again and again and it will be difficult to change it at the end okay so if you don't have time okay you can study on the internet watch videos songs movies everything uh, it will help you but uh, not a lot okay so and now let's go back okay to our page Okay guys, so that was everything about this lesson. At the beginning, we studied here uh, free time activities. After that, we practiced listening. We studied uh, how we write negative, don't, and you practice that. How we write questions, yes, no questions. And after that, we practiced listening and we practiced questions filling the gaps. After that, we studied time phrases with on, in, at, and every. So that's it for uh, this um, uh, video. Thank you everyone and goodbye.